In this video, if you're an online business owner, I'm going to tell and show you the simple four step process for you to get in the best shape of your life, transform your body while performing at the highest level and optimizing your health span to live a long, healthy life without disrupting your busy day to day schedule. By the end of this video, there's absolutely no reason as to why, if you follow these simple four steps, as to why you can't do this. This has worked for multiple of my clients. I've had clients who are online business owners, obviously, who have a web design agency, run businesses such as coaching, whether it is an online mentorship program. And I've also got business owners who aren't in the online space as well, such as a business owner who had over 100 employees, who was an IT consultancy business owner, a local business owner. So this really does work for everyone, should I say. There's not really that much difference for people who are running an online business to people who are running a old school brick and mortar business, if I'm being completely honest. The process is very similar. But if you're an online business owner, I can almost guarantee you spend most of your days at your laptop, your desk, and you're sat in this position a lot of the time. You don't really have that much time to go to the gym, to train multiple times per week. You don't really have that much energy to put into your training or your nutrition or your overall health. And you're probably not sleeping too great either. You probably haven't optimized your sleep. You're probably feeling a little bit run down a lot of the time. But the last thing you want to do is step away for too long from your business because you feel like your business isn't going to grow. I can almost guarantee that if you're an online business owner, you have aspirations or dreams, whatever you want to call them, of growing your business, earning multiple millions per year, doing over 50, 100K per month. But it's starting to become at the detriment of your overall fitness, your physique, and your overall performance at work as well. So I'm going to tell you a story about a client who came to me who was an online business owner. I just referenced him before. He was someone who had his own web design company, uh, albeit he didn't have multiple employees. Well, I'm saying he was a one-man band. He had one employee who was helping him. But for the most part, he was running it himself. He was the same age as me. I'm now 28. When I started working with him, we were 25, 26, or so mid-20s a few years ago. And he was someone who, I won't obviously name him, but he was someone who had just come out of a long-term relationship. He was someone who wasn't training and he was spending 12 to 14 hours every single day in put all of his effort into his business, growing the business. He had a lot of clients. He worked, from what I know, he worked with clients like Wayne Rooney, if you don't know. He's one of the most famous English footballers there's, there's ever been. He'd done websites for him. He'd done websites for massive companies. But it was at the detriment to his health, his physique, his performance, etc. So he first messaged me and he said, look, be completely transparent. I'm not in a good place at the moment. I've come out of a long-term relationship. I'm, I've got low on energy. I'm not sleeping great. And I don't know what to do about it. I've had a look online and I feel like there's so much conflicting information out there. I've been told I need to follow keto diets, carnivore diets. I've been told that I need to spend hours in the gym. I've been told that I need to actually get a one-to-one -one trainer and see him multiple times per week, but I don't have time because I'm spending all my time on business. And he had all these problems, all these challenges, all these obstacles in his way. And I said to him, well, all right, what have you tried up to now? And he said that he'd tried all the things he just said. He tried going to the gym. He tried going in the morning. He tried going at lunchtime. He tried going in the evening, but he just hadn't found a consistent routine. He felt like that he was in the gym. He didn't have a proper structure to follow. And he felt like he could have just been spending his time at his desk, at his computer, and actually growing the business more and getting those clients and earning more money. And he felt like he wasn't able to actually fulfill his potential in terms of his physique. He'd put on a bit of weight. He wasn't feeling his best. And this was, as I said, at the consequence of his business. He felt that just spending loads of time on his business and not in the gym and not eating healthy and not optimizing his sleep and recovery would be better because be able to go through his business. But he found that, as I just said, it came with all these negative consequences. It was the opposite. He didn't end up growing the business anymore because he was trying to put too much time into it and he wasn't sleeping well. And as I said, he wasn't in a good place in terms of mentally because he'd just come out of a long-term relationship and he didn't know what to do, should I say. So I asked him, right, we need to strip everything back and we're going to follow my process, which I follow with all my other clients, and which I'm going to tell you now if you're an online business owner. So the first step is we did a full health analysis. So I needed to understand exactly what his current biomarkers were. I needed to understand what his, his overall health stats were and his testosterone levels and stuff like that, which as we know is for males is absolutely key. I, I would say that this was really big. We needed to understand all of these. So we, we had a benchmark. We knew where his health stats were. 
So what I did, this is all covered when I co when I coach people. And by the way, you can head to the link in the description if you want to find out a little bit more about that. I've also got a free body health and performance quiz linked in the description as well. Completely free. It takes two minutes for you to do if you if you're interested. So going back to what we did, the health analysis. So this was covered by me. I've teamed up with a company, so we sent out a blood sample test kit. Did a blood sample, sent it off, and then once we received the results, we found that his testosterone levels were low. And if you remember me saying we're in our mid twenties at the time, this is not a time where a man's testosterone levels should be low. And it was pretty obvious why he was, as I said, put all of his time, effort, and energy into growing the business. He wasn't sleeping great. He wasn't effectively training. He wasn't in the best shape as he could be. He was holding quite a bit of body fat. This came at the detriment of his biomarkers, like his testosterone and his overall health. But we did that. We got that nailed in so he could see and I could see visually where his markers were. So that meant we had a baseline of what we could use as a reference point to improve on in the months and years to come as well. So that was the first step, health analysis. We needed that to set the foundations. It's almost like maybe if you were an online business owner, if you were getting a client, you wouldn't just go straight in and trying to solve the problem that they had. You would need to identify the problem first and see what the problems were so you could set out a plan. So that's essentially what we did with him. Step two was the training. So as I said, there's, there's a lot of conflict and information out there. I said to him, look, you do not need to be spending hours in the gym. You do not need to be following a strict routine where you've got an hour and a half in the gym and you're trying to really use intensity. That's great for some people, but for online business owners, you want to be in and out. You want to get back to working on the business, growing the business and actually fulfilling your potential in that way. You don't want to think about your training program and everything that comes with that. It's just, you know, causing a lot of confusion and it was for him as well. So I said, right, we're going to do a bit of a test week first just to see where strength and fitness levels were. And after we'd done that, I got him on three sessions per week. So full body resistance training. So full body sessions, 30 to 45 minute max, 90 to 100 minutes per week in the gym. That's it. And this was dumbbell and bench only as well. We did incorporate a little bit of cardio, like for example, in the warm up, and that was it. And he thought, there's no way I'm going to be able to get results doing that. And I understood where he was coming from because a lot of people think that. And even I thought that a good few years ago, even as a coach. And I said to him, trust me, you do not need to be spending all those hours in the gym. It, it just comes at the detriment to your overall health and lifestyle. You don't need to be doing it. It's just putting more fatigue, reducing your energy levels, and you, you don't need to be doing it. So I said, just trust me. So he did. So three sessions per week, that's what he did. Third step was the nutrition. So I said to him, first few weeks, we need to see where your calorie consumption is. You might be thinking, oh, he's going to tell me to count calories. And he thought this as well. And I, trust me, Two weeks is all you need of religiously tracking your calories on some type of app, whether it's MyFitnessPal or Macro First, for example. So we know exactly where your calorie consumption is and we can identify areas which need to be changed. And this was massive for him. He never counted calories before. He said that he was eating well and he thought that just eating healthy foods and prepping good healthy meals would help him to lose body fat. And I said to him, that's great, but how many calories are consuming? And he said, I'm not sure, maybe 2,000. And I was like, right, okay. So after the two weeks of tracking, we found that he was actually eating more towards 3,200 calories on average. 3,200. She was over-consuming by nearly over 1,000 compared to what he thought he was consuming. And that, that's so common with a lot of people, especially if you're an online business owner. As I said, you spend a lot of time at the desk and you'll go downstairs and you'll have a snack quickly. You, know, you have a coffee, you have a biscuit, you have some crisp, whatever it may be. All those snacks add up and you, a lot of the time you forget about them. But once we actually track that, we know exactly where your full calorie consumption is every single day, every single week. So we can identify areas which we need to take and eliminate and move forward. So that was the third step, nutrition. Fourth step, which I've discussed before, is sleep and recovery. This is massive. I don't want to say it's the most important because everything is important, but sleep is so important for business owners, high performers, online business owners, whether you are an online business owner or not, it's absolutely imperative that we optimize this. He said that he was sleeping maybe four to five hours of good night's sleep per night, but he was in bed for eight and he thought that was okay. And he thought that as long as he was in bed for eight hours, that he was going to be recovering fine. Although he knew that he was still feeling tired. And I said, right, let's get you a sleep tracker. So we got him a whoop band where obviously I could see his stats and we implemented a certain few things, which I do with all of my other clients. So number one was light, lights out in terms of no screens, no 
replying to emails after 8 p.m. This was really hard because he was someone who, when you're running the business, and especially if you've got a small team, you feel like you've got to do everything. You're constantly checking emails. And I said to him, right, no more emails, no more screens after 8 p.m. And I want you to have your dinner. So your last meal of the day at 7 p.m. So meal, 7 p.m., screens off, 8 p.m. And then the third one, I want you to go up and get into bed for 9 o'clock. 9 p.m. bedtime. Doesn't matter. I don't mean to say you've got to go to sleep, but just in bed by 9 p.m. with no external lights on, like the light I've got in the background here, that will be switched off. Blackout blinds as well. So that's the third step. In bed, all lights off. The fourth thing in regards to optimizing your sleep was to read a fictional book. I've mentioned this in other videos. Trust me, this is one of the biggest game changers for me. I would do all the other previous things I've just said, but then get into bed and read a business book. So my, my mind was constantly going. And if you're someone who's trying to grow an online business or any business for that matter, you are someone who wants to get every drop of knowledge out of everything you do every single day to grow the business and fulfill your aspirations. But this is at the detriment to your sleep. So I said, right, if you want to do that, do that through the day or in the morning. Let's in, in, incorporate just reading fictional books so your mind can just totally switch off from day-to-day -day business and working. And he was a bit skeptical at first, which I can understand because he thought it was a little bit boring and wasn't really into it. And I thought that as well, so I completely understand. So we did that, so that was the fourth set. And then we said, let's just try and set a bedtime of 10.30 every single night. So we did that. So they were five things related to sleep that we did. So to recap, that was eating the last meal at least three hours before trying to get to sleep. Two was no more emails, screens off um, for two hours before bed. Third one, was getting into bed and making sure there's no external light on, as I said before. Fourth one was read a book, fictional, ideal. And then the fifth one was to set that bedtime. And I've missed one out there as well, keeping the room cool. I've said this in another video. That's another point. Keep the room as cool as possible. In the summer, it's really difficult, as we know, especially in houses in the UK, we don't have aircon to keep the room cool. So get a portable aircon unit, get an aircon unit, get the windows open, just do everything you can to cool that room down. That'll make such a difference. I'm someone who really struggles to sleep when it's really hot, and it makes such a difference when the room is cool. So that's what we did with the sleep. So that's uh, the third one, sleep. So just a summary, a little summary of what we set up to now. Number one was a health analysis. Number two was training. Number three was nutrition. And the fourth one is the sleep and the recovery. Fifth step, what we did. I did say there was four steps at the start, but I'm going to count this as 4B. Maybe a fifth step as well. Longevity, maintenance. What can we do in your day-to-day -day life which is going to set you up for the long term? Because if all these four steps are only going to work for you, or for him in this example, for two to three months, then after the two to three months, you're just going to revert back to what you were doing before. Everything we do, and I said to him, everything we're doing now needs to be setting you up for the long term. So you've got that adherence. It's easily implemented into your busy work schedule when you're working on your business and you're sat at home. Everything has to work around that. So what we did is we made sure we set certain times where he was working and did deep work. And we made sure that every single day he was walking 8K steps. And this is almost that holistic approach, making sure in everything in terms of the training and nutrition wasn't to at the detriment to his overall energy. Because if it was, as I said, it wouldn't have that longevity in mind. So we're getting his steps in. He was eating well, wasn't feeling like he'd, he had to eat really strict meals in terms of he wasn't eating food he didn't enjoy. He wasn't training five, six days a week. He was just training three times a week, 30 minute sessions. All of that, con all those four things contributed towards the fifth thing. That's why I say it's more 4B slash uh, uh, fifth process, because it's almost all the previous four linked to one so that you can sustain it for the long term. If you do not have adherence in mind and sustainability in mind, should I say, you are not going to be able to maintain those results for the long term, especially as an online business owner. You want to, I'm assuming you want to grow your business. I'm assuming you do not want to be the person who has to think about all these four or five different steps while you, all your mental bandwidth is taken up trying to grow the business. And you know, you, you do not want that. If you got plans to grow your business, you'll know you've got to employ people at some point. Why not get someone to overlook this for you? And this is what I said to my client. I said to him, look, you've done the right thing coming to someone like me. It doesn't have to be me. It could be anyone who can do this, but making sure that they know thoroughly your current situation and how you can get in the best shape of your life while performing at the highest level and living a long, healthy life without disrupting your busy schedule. To summarize everything we've said in this video, step one, we did a health analysis. So we knew exactly what his biomarkers were. Step two was optimize his training. 
three sessions a week, 30 minute sessions, resistance training with the aim to build as much muscle as possible, get in and out of the gym. Step three was nutrition. Track his calories for the first few weeks, understand exactly where his current nutrition lies and his calorie consumption was. And then we optimized it from there for the long term without strict diets. Number four was optimizing his sleep and recovery. And number five, or 4B, was implementing everything in a one cohesive, sustainable system so that he could sustain it for the long term. So if you're an online business owner who wants to get in the best shape of the life, optimize the performance, health, etc., I highly recommend doing all these four things. It will not take up too much of your time. Trust me, if you follow these steps, you will succeed. But if you're still not sure what the exact one thing is, which you need to do to actually improve, as I said before, head to the link in the description. I've got a body, health, and performance free quiz, which you can take. It'll only take you a couple of minutes, but it will identify the exact area that you need to knuckle down on to be able to improve. Because it's all right me saying you need to do all these five things, but there's always one thing which is going to make the biggest difference. Head to the link in the description, completely free, and you can take that quiz. See you in the next one.